this concert is going to be in portrait mode because I do not know how to put it in landscape for some reason. So let me flip the camera. I'm going to get started soon. Zoom in a little bit. All right, still getting the camera set up here. Just one moment. And I gotta zoom in differently here. Here we are in portrait mode. I think it's looking good from my end. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me get tuned up real quick and I'll get started with my concert. tuned up, I'm set up, and I have, uh, I have my computer here uh, to my right so I can kind of keep an eye on comments and see who's watching. Uh, thank you, thank you so much to R4 for creating this respite with Ragtime series and having me tonight. Uh, my name is Kelsey Vanderball. I am a cellist with R4, uh, but right now I'm coming to you from my living room here in Chicago, Illinois. <clears throat> Still doing a little checking here. My mic needs a little bit more volume. Hold on. Check. Woo. It can be very sensitive. One moment. The funny thing with equipment in this kind of gear. This is what half the setup is for. Double checking levels and volumes. Check, 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 check. Check, check. Check, check, check. All right, I'm going to get started. Uh, again, my name is Kelsey Vanderall. I'm coming to you from my living room in Chicago. And I'm really excited to put on this concert for you. This will not be ragtime music. Uh, there's been a lot of great artists and a lot of great uh, concerts so far in the series, but uh, I'm really excited to use this platform to uh, share something new I've been working on. As you can see, I'm sitting here with my electric cello and I have my looper with me. Um, so this is gonna be a very interesting night with some, I'm gonna say experimental, ambient, just some, some, nice, some nice vibes. So I ask you to enjoy the ride and the vibes and let me know what you think.
little taste of what I got for you tonight. Uh, for anyone just tuning in, again, my name is Kelsey Vanderwall, coming from Chicago. I have a hour of cello looping for you on electric cello. Uh, it's really fun. This is kind of a new project, trying new things. I have new gear and equipment that I get to work with. Uh, it's nice having this looper uh, in front of me, even though I'm here by myself, I, I have more room to grow and build, build sound. So this is gonna be, I think, very interesting. Um, a lot of times, uh, first, people don't know what this instrument is, so it's, I'm glad I get to showcase it and show the difference between this and, and an acoustic cello. Um, so yeah, here's a little bit more for you.
doing with just one instrument, which is kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, I want to explain a little bit about my setup here. Uh, I have, it's actually a five string electric cello. Uh, I got to play some, some, some more similar bass lines. Nice A flat there. I have a low F string, so it's fun to get into an even deeper range. Uh, especially with cello, I love how it's a lower string and it has lower notes, but I can go even lower with this, which is really cool. Um, you know, I don't have names or, or titles to these, these loops, these sequences that I'm making. Uh, I kind of just went with, I had an idea in my head and I would play around with it, I would expand on it. Uh, it's more, more mood, so I hope you guys are feeling good and enjoying this. Um, what I think is very interesting about this, sharing this concert with you guys, is that you guys are seeing my process. Uh, you're hearing the bass line and the melody, and I'm bringing in a harmony, a different line here, but you're seeing me build it up and, and build it back down. Uh, I have the, these channels where I can loop and have something repeat and play on top of it. So it's, uh, it's a really, really nifty tool, and it's really interesting just to see how much, how much I can do with it. Uh, so here's a little more for ya.
from swing to a little bit more bluesy, kind of can do whatever I want. Kind of cool. Uh, I, I did mention this before. I don't have any names or titles to these loops that I've been working on, but if I did have to name this one something, I would call it After the Rain. Uh, and why is because I was really building up a storm, all that dissonant stuff. Uh, I did it on purpose. Uh, yeah, just really wanted to build just something very intense and you, you know something dark is happening, similar to when you know, the clouds get dark and the storm eventually passes and eventually, uh, and then clearly the sun comes back out or, or something. So uh, that was the inspiration for that last one. Thank you for checking out this live stream. Again, having a chance to share, try something new, having people to play it for. I wish I could see your faces, but I'm keeping an eye on the comments here. And uh, yeah, thank you so much.
more looping for you. One second, I have to log right into my computer. I want to make sure I can see who see who's tuning in and check the comments. <laughs> Two trains fix the comment. Okay, I'll take that. Um, yeah, this is just very. I, I, I'm glad that you guys are just feeling something. You know, when I come down to or I sit down to play my instrument, it, it really is about how I'm feeling. I just enjoy playing my instrument so much and having something new, you know, just let it flow, let that energy flow. And I'm, I'm sharing that energy with you virtually. I um, hope to be able to do this in person in the near future. I say near future because I'm hopeful, but um, I'm glad that we are adapting and able to still connect this way and still interact, so. Um, I want to take this time to just, again, thank you guys for being such a great audience. This Respite with Ragtime series has been really great. I've been able to check out some concerts here and there, and there's just so much, so much variety, which has made this so enjoyable. And I think part of it, too, is having such a great audience coming in, tuning in every week. So I'm really glad to be on this end and, and, and try it out. Uh, and something else I want to mention while I have this moment is, um, uh, I didn't practice my speech, but, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, yeah, I just, I'm super thankful for the support. Uh, going back two songs ago, two loops ago, uh, there was a storm here in Chicago uh, that hit us last week. Uh, a week, week and a half ago, and it was it was pretty bad. Technically, a tornado touched down like four blocks from where I live, and it was everything's better now. Things are being cleaned up. People were out of power for quite a while, and uh, so when I, I think that's where I got my inspiration for the storm, uh, preparing for this, preparing for this live stream. Um, but there was a great organization that really jumped in and really helped, uh, kind of pick the pieces back up and get this neighborhood, specifically this area, back together. And it's an organization called My Block, My Hood, My City, again, here in Chicago. Uh, I want to let you know that uh, if you are able to support financially at all, um, I will be donating a portion of the proceeds from tonight's live stream to that organization. Again, My Block, My Hood, My City. I was just really impressed to see how they jumped in. They had a bunch of volunteers help move trees, uh, just clear the path, just help us get, get back on our feet. Um, we don't expect tornadoes in Chicago, so it was, you know, what, what, what can you do? Um, I also want to take this moment to share that uh, you guys are so supportive of R4 and the series. Uh, R4 has their own fundraiser going on. I think this is such a great platform, uh, especially since we are adapting virtually and we aren't able to be in person and connect. Uh, I think this is a really great example of how, of how to do this, how to still perform, put on concerts, and, and interact with you guys because we miss you, I miss you for sure. Um, so R4, thank you for putting this on. It's been really great and if there's anyone here tuned into this live stream that is not familiar with the River Raisin Ragtime Review, please check out the page, check out the YouTube channel, check out performances and the websites. Uh, just get familiar with, with what this group has to offer because they really do some great things. Uh, as a cellist of the orchestra who's been playing on and off with the group for the last few years, uh, it, really, it really is a treat. Uh, the music is just so well performed. Uh, there is a recent CD that's been released called The Blaze of Glory. I'll let, uh, I'll let William talk about that maybe in the comments, but there are some really great artists, performances, and projects that this group puts on. So if you are able to support R4 in that way, that would be, that would be amazing. But again, just being able to interact this way, looking at my camera, looking at the comments on my computer, this is still, still something, so I'm so fortunate. And, Thank you so much. And speaking of feelings, I'm going to play a piece. Uh, it's a song. This is actually a cover. 
It's one of my favorite songs. It's one where just the lyrics are so meaningful, they're very motivational, and you know, it's so special to me. I don't play it that often. I only play it when I need to hear it. So let me let me build this one up for you. It's nice because it has a nice loop and I can sing over it. take a minute to set up, but enjoy. inspirational or motivational for me is because it's called Closer to My Dreams. Give me a simple acoustic cover of it. Closer to My Dreams. Push them all. 
to decrescendo, oops, and to decrescendo, I have a volume knob. I have to remember to reset. Uh, again, that's a song called Closer by an artist named Guapel. I just love the lyrics. It's, uh, sometimes I need to hear those when uh, I'm ever feeling discouraged or anything. Uh, and I know for all of us during, while we're quarantined, during this pandemic, uh, a lot of our plans, aberration, aspirations, uh, any short-term goals, a lot of those are put on hold right now or just delayed. So just wanted to play that, one for myself and also to share with you guys to never stop dreaming. Um, I think that this is a really great time to reflect and really think about what's important and that way we can all hit the ground running when we are all able to do it safely. <clears throat> and uh, here's a little bit more.
I saw a comment about oops, about it being meditative. I like that. I think uh, very soothing. You can't get wrong with cello. Cello is very mellow and soothing. <laughs> so uh, I know I'm, I'm getting close to the hour here, and that is actually that's my set in terms of the new things that I've been. I've been working on, uh, again, with my electric cello and my looper, I get to just explore so many different things. I really get to take a motif, I can compose anything and, and build on it. Um, I could probably transcribe a bunch of stuff too, but I think with just everything going on, I kind of sit down, I'll play a little something and just keep, keep growing on that thought. So this has been very uh, meditative and just mindful and uh, very therapeutic process for me. Uh, and again, I hope it's been interesting for you guys to see my process. Uh, starting some loops, going back and forth, playing on top of it, uh, just so so many things. So if this is your first time listening and watching uh, an electric cellist perform with a looper, uh, you are in for a real treat. Uh, and again, this is new for me, somewhat new, so there's there's more to come. There's so much more to come. I want to thank R4 uh, for, again, putting on this series. Thank you to you guys for tuning in and showing your support. Uh, I think it's, it's really great that we're still able to connect in, in some way. Uh, I was supposed to perform earlier in the series. I think this was back in May or uh, late May or early June. Uh, but there's, there's been a lot going on. Uh, we can all agree with that. And I had rescheduled, uh, first of all, thank you for letting me reschedule, uh, just to perform at a more appropriate time. Um, music, yes, music is uplifting, but with everything that had been going on, especially around the time of George Floyd's death and with the Black Lives Matter movement just being just so immediately, um, uh, the, the awareness was just increased so immensely, so quickly. Uh, there's just, just some more important things, I think, that need to be shared, to be said. So we still have a long way to go. We are all still in a tough spot with just the climate of this country and the pandemic. I just wanna say, please continue to be safe, be kind, and just, we, we are gonna get through this. And I think ways like this uh, continuing to show support for each other is, is a great way to do that. Uh, I want to not just say thank you, but I want to show my thanks with not an electric cello. What I want to do is bring out a normal cello. Those feel good. In case you forgot what it looked like. Let me do a little switcheroo. <clears throat> uh, to conclude this evening's concert, I want to give a, a ragtime farewell. I have a couple more for you, but I'm going to play it on my acoustic cello. Acoustic cello, normal cello. Is my mic on? Shh, shh. There we go. Uh, with acoustic cello, and um, these are just some great, some great melodies that uh, R4 has performed in the past. Again, please check out R4's YouTube channel and past performances. Again, there's just so many great artists that have come through that group, and the music that is made is just so. It's very amazing, and I'm very fortunate to be a part of it. So here's. Here's a little rag for you of the solo. <clears throat>
know, I did start a little late because I need to learn how to put these concerts in landscape mode. I, uh, again, just want to show my thanks to you all for tuning in and to R4. I have one, one more for you as a send off. And again, thank you so much for having me a part of this Respite with Ragtime. Uh, and I look forward to seeing future performances and seeing what more there is. Again, my name is Kelsey Vanderbal. Thank you so much, and you all have a great night. Oh.